Senator Jim Inhofe, Republican from Oklahoma, the soon-to-be chair of the Senate Environment and Public Works Committee, and he joins me now. Senator Inhofe, thanks so much for joining us. You say you're against this plan because you think China is getting off too easy and because you simply don't believe China will do enough to reduce its carbon footprint. But is that really your issue with the, with the deal? I thought you didn't think carbon emissions were a problem. Well, no, I, I don't think so. In fact, the science has totally changed since 2001. Uh, back then, everything was global warming and we're all going to die and all that. And then as we realized, uh, Jake, what the cost was going to be, the cost was, would be the largest tax increase in the history of America, three to four hundred billion dollars every year. And you've got to keep in mind, you, you remember when Lisa Jackson was the director of the EPA, appointed by uh, Obama. And I asked her the question, on the record, live on TV, I said, if we pass any of this cap and trade stuff, either by regulation or by, re uh, by legislation, will that have the effect of reducing CO2 emissions? Her answer was, no, it wouldn't, because this is not where the problem is. It's in China, it's in India, it's in Mexico. You know, you can carry that argument further, uh, Jake, and, and say that, as we would reduce ours mm -hmm. and chase our manufacturing base to China where they have no regulations, it would have the effect of increasing, not decreasing, uh, CO2. Okay, well, I take your point. But without getting into remedies, let's just talk about uh, man-made ch climate change itself. Mm -hmm. there's, a, there's a scientific consensus, overwhelming, uh, that climate change is real, that it, at least partly man-made, that some action must be taken. Now, you've called it a, a conspiracy what are you talking about? No, I'm, I'm just saying that when you say that science is settled and the overwhelming scientific uh, analysis comes to that conclusion, Frank, that is just not correct. Uh, my, I can remember back in about 2002 or 2003 when I first started finding out from scientists uh, that the science is not there and then all of a sudden it started rolling in and I published in the congressional record not hundreds, but thousands of scientists who disagree with the United Nations. Keep in mind, mm -hmm. the scientists that I'm talking about, that's the, that's the United Nations that we're talking about. And there are many of them who were supposed to be taking part in that, and they were not allowed to do it because they didn't agree with their, what they, their consensus was. All right. Well, and, and, and by the way, this China thing, let's keep in mind, uh, President Xi, he said they're going to continue to increase their emissions until 2030. Well, right. he'll be long gone after that, and so it's easy for them to say something like that. When, in fact, they are saying they're going to increase a, uh, one uh, additional coal-fired plant every 10 days in China for the foreseeable future. All right, Senator. Well, the overwhelming majority of scientists disagree with you, but I do want to move on to, to one other topic in the news.